we are going back west today to find out what Josie Wales did. And we never ever, oh, I better tell you, it's the outlaw Josie Wales, just in case, just in case you didn't know, because I wouldn't know. In all the Westerns that I've watched already, which is still just a handful, two handfuls maybe, you, you don't see any female outlaws. So I wonder what she did and why is she, why is she an outlaw and what, why is she not being a regular female? A <laughs> regular. <laughs> Why is she not in the kitchen? <laughs> I can't say that. Well, I can't because I'm female. <laughs> Anywho, it is very, very, very stormy outside. So today is a koozie day, pyjama day and western day. Not Western day, just one Western and then it's movie day. That's what we're doing. It's the weather. It's it's making my brain all confused. We know Clint Eastwood is in it and you guys know how much I love Clint. So I'm very, very excited to see him. And I think this is how it's going to go. So Josie is going to be the outlaw that needs help. Obviously, because we can't do it on our own. We need man's help. Clint is going to be the man that helps her and that's that's how it's going to go. Um, other than that, I have no idea. We're, we're going to find out, we're going to see. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. If you have already, then I love you and thank you. And check out Patreon, check that out because it's got lots on there already, lots of videos, polls, um, it's, it's all happening. I think young Clint we last saw in the Dollars Trilogy, old Clint we last saw in Gran Torino. So we're going back to young Clint, maybe like, t I think this is probably about 10 years after Dollars Trilogy. So he's going to be a little bit older, but I don't mind because I love him whatever age he is. Let's do our big fat shout out to our top tier patrons, Brian Meddendorp, Calco Jack, Wreath35, Stuart Hooten, Nate Wilson, Mike Filepi, Len Anaquad, Eric Twice, Ethan Furl, Wayne Kreika, Liam Christie, Robert Inman, Celeste McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Mersh, Alonzo Torres, Phil Bryant, Chase Bauer, 1000th Ghost, Roger Freeman and Eric Bonham. The Outlaw Josie Wales and Play. Wait, she just called that little boy Josie. Imagine hearing, imagine just working on your farm and hearing a rumble like that. I mean, like, what the hell is the way to happen? Whatever it is, he's ready for it. <sighs> oh my God, I thought he killed him already. Why? Why did that happen? There's one thing I know about Clint in every movie. In every movie, maybe? He likes to be bloodied and beaten. <laughs> At one part. <laughs> Every movie, I'm sure, he does that. Oh no, did the. Oh, did. Oh. Oh. Seriously? This is very upsetting so early in the movie. Dash, 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 dash. Lord gives. Oh, it away. I thought they were kidnapped and I thought he was going to be... Oh, but wait, if his boy's called Josie. <laughs> I thought he was going to find his wife and son along with this Josie Wales. But now I'm not sure. Did that man... <laughs> oh, phew. It's just target practice. Did that man that just assume that he'd killed him when he slashed his face? Red legs. We're going up there and set things all right. I'll be coming with you. Red legs. I think this is. I think this is the Civil War, and I know a thing or two about the Civil War now. But I don't know what a red leg is. Just ride into that Union camp down there and go home. I'm going in, boys. I've had enough. Everyone looks miserable. What? What's the way it happen? I don't know what they're doing here. Josie. Shit, his name's Josie. 
Ah, uh, well, that was very sexist of me to just assume that it was a girl. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Clint. Your name is Josie. It's not at all girly. And his son was called Josie as well. Got it. There's no way you can go to get away from him. I reckon that's true. Good luck, Josie. Well, how's he an outlaw? What did he do? Or is he not an outlaw yet? Well, this is definitely not the storyline I thought I was going to be watching today. <laughs> but I'm more excited now because that means he's the main character. I get in line. Before I kick you so hard, you'll be wearing your ass for a hat. <laughs> Ah, for a hat. <laughs> what the hell is this red leg doing here? So he's a red leg. You said regular federal authorities would be handling this. Captain Terrell is the regular federal authority now. So what's a red leg? He is a looter and a pillager. He is the worst enemy those men have got. Right. There's another old saying, Senator. Don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> Brought them all in, didn't he? All but one, Josie Wales. Josie Wales. I bet it was you that slashed his face. Here's the money for bringing down the others, and there'll be more for Josie Wales. So he's well known then. He was just farming, he wasn't doing anything. <laughs> ah! I didn't realise that was happening. Josie and the young boy are going to be the only two left. Promise me those men would be decently treated. They were decently fed. And then they were decently shot. Well, that's not very fair. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he go to aim in slow motion? Ah, oh, bugger. I thought he was... What the hell is going on here? I can't keep up. How can you doing this then? I got nothing better to do. He's got nothing left to lose. Not in there. Uh huh. <laughs> Surprised he's not in the trees, ready to shoot in the head. He'll have to run for it now, and hell is where he's headed. He'll be waiting there for us, Senator. Yeah, I would say. You buggers. Uh, excuse me? What are you doing to the poor horse? I thought he was trying to strangle it. Wow, they don't even see you. They went right past you. That's amazing. Like, what the hell was that for? <laughs> Let me up. Look away, Dixie Lane. Out of bought a clean bandages and boil poultice for a boat launch in a hurry. What was that song he was singing? And why is this man dressed so fancy? So you'll be Josie Whale. Oh, how does she know? You know that, Granny. Soldiers were here looking for you about two hours ago. Ah, right. I was going to mention that to you as soon as I got the chance. <laughs> I'm gonna heal and hide you to a barn door. You know what I say? What's that? She doesn't believe him. Say that big talk's worth doodly squat. <laughs> doodly squat. <laughs> and you drop water on them occasionally and keep them down. Supplies, Granny. You can find me when you see me again. Oh, bless ya. Love a granny. Look away, look away, Dixie Lane. Dixie who? Sure is a sweet sound of the ears. Wouldn't you say so, Mr. Wales? Yeah, I quite like it. It can do most anything. Ah! Comes with a sting. You mink. <laughs> that was gross. Oh, yeah, it looks like you've been chilling. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be dressed so fancy. Oh no. But I'll hold on until you fellas get out of sight. Yeah. Pull them, you'll pull. 
Until you get going. So get going. He ain't gonna hold up no fairy. He's gonna bring that cavalry over fast as he can. Well, you go now, quick. 40, 50 horses ahead of us. What we've gotta do is base some time between them and us. What are we gonna do? I don't know. He's got something planned in his head, that's for sure. I advise you to turn back. You can catch him later. Turn back. Are you crazy? Uh, they'll be, yeah. Pick us off one by one. I'll never do it. Best, you'll get two or three up front there. Yeah, but what if he sinks you or something? I advise you to turn back, Captain. <laughs> he knows. Oh, but the poor guy's on the... <laughs> on the bars! Horses can swim. Yeah, they can swim. That's fine. Well, what did you expect? You're sitting ducks. Oh, brown rosy, rose of Alabama. Shh, I think someone's coming. Bam, me. Maybe it's grand. You just do that, cousin. You bring that old pistol right out. How did he get to you so quick? Move on back. Watch me. I've seen him do some things. Shut up, lad. <laughs> I've seen him do some things. Like what? Tell me. Pa, I got the gold right here, Pa. <gasps> what was he talking about? <laughs> There's no gold. He's crazy. <laughs> gold me and Josie robbed from the bank. <laughs> Take a look under that there blanket. He knows what he's doing. Yes! <laughs> I do it. Good boy. <clears throat> that was so effortless. Like, poof. don't you even look at me again. Strangler. That's what it looks like here today. Lots of rain and lots of wind. Josie, I want to thank you for what? Saved my life. For looking after him. I ain't scared no more. Boy days. It's because you've got your best bud next to you. This rain's giving us a hit. Oh. <gasps> what? I thought he was... I thought it was going to be you too, the whole way through the movie. Oh girl, that's awful. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, he's created a diversion so he can sneak through. Well done. There he goes. <laughs> Just casually strolling through. <laughs> look away, look away, look away, Dukes are there. Where's Granny? Is that Granny? I don't think it is. Howdy. Oh, it's not Granny. Name's Josie Wales. It's maybe Granda. I've heard of that name. Everyone has. But here in the nation, they call us the civilized tribe. They call us civilized because we're easy to sneak up on. Aww, that's sad. I have a fine woman and two sons, but they all died on the Trail of Tears. Aww. And now the white man is sneaking up on me again. Aww. Now you two need to be buddies. These have both lost your wife and kids. We wore them because uh, we belonged to the five civilized tribes. We dressed ourselves up like Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, I thought that's what you were wearing. It's so nice. I like it. I love Lincoln. We declared war on the Union. I'm listening. <laughs> that means he trusts you. I like his scar. Ah! Horn Toad says we should go to Mexico. There's some weird looking creatures on this earth. All I have is a piece of hard rock candy. But it's not for eating, it's just for looking through. <laughs> oh, I, we need to get you and Granny together. I'll get you a horse. <laughs> it's not for eating, it's just for looking through. <laughs>
Oh, that's the best. Give me 10 muskrat and 30 beaver pelts. What? And what kind of rat? Oops. Spilling. Oh. Bloody hell, she didn't mean to. We you take for the squaw? She ain't for sale. Yeah, what do you want with her? Little squaw likes the bucks, huh? Tell you, Zuka, you put her on the bill, too. What? That's not allowed. You can't do that. Hey. Kill them all. What the actual hell is wrong with people? I got him. I got me Josie Wales. No, you haven't. Five thousand gold simoleons walked right in. Nah. I'll splatter your guts all over the wall. <laughs> Mr. Lightning. Remember your old man is outside. Take them guns out, but first, so you can get hold of them. And the girl. The man outside, the girl, and the, the shopkeeper guy. <laughs> you don't need anyone else. <laughs> now you can just take what you want. Shoot the shopkeeper as well. It keeps spitting on everything. <laughs> oh, you're filthy. Filthy Josie Wales. Howdy. Howdy. I'm getting better at sneaking up on you like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Not for you, though. I want you to hook up with Granny. <laughs> Although he beat her a lot, nothing happened between them. And that she sort of belongs to you. He, sh he shouldn't have been beating her. For what you've done for her. Yeah, I thought so. Means you red bone hound we got no place else to go either. Uh. Ah! Well, you might as well ride along with us. Hell, everybody else is. He's just like marking his territory, spitting on everyone's forehead. Poor dog. Hey, you. Buy some Indian scouts. Ah, you filthy man. That's disgusting. Is nobody going to recognize you here? I love the signs. I wonder when it stopped when you could like go to uh, tr a trader and trade and not buy with money and you could be like, well, if you do this for me, then I can do this for you. Or if you make me a sign, I can trade with a bottle of whiskey. Like, when did that stop and it had to strictly be money? I got a picture postcard of it. Have a look. Josie Wales. How do you know? Let's say, Josie Wales. They say he's coming into Texas. Won't come to oh. here <laughs> Regulators are all over the place looking for him. Well, no one's recognized them yet. Yeah, I'm sure those regulators would pay plenty for the man who could identify Josie Wales. Does he know that's him or nah? Yeah, he didn't know. And how about you, sir? Just a few bottles left. You won't regret. He's going to remember. Don't you dare say anything. It's Josie Wales. No, you bugger. What are, you, are you just going to stand there? What's, what's going on? <laughs> We're looking at him. Do something. You're gonna pull those pistols and whistle Dixie. Whistle Dixie? What's a whistle Dixie? <laughs> and that's what you get. What's a whistle Dixie? <laughs> oh, I lost all his stuff he's just paid for. I guess we ain't gonna see that little Navajo girl again. I guess not. I think she'll catch up on you. I get to liking someone, they ain't around long. I notice when you get to disliking someone, they ain't around for long either. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. But that one on the far left, he had crazy eyes. Yeah, I saw that. He did have crazy eyes. I can identify him. Knew him quite well, actually. Bloody hell. Then we'll turn southwest and head for Mexico. Tell him to head north. Why is he going north first? Bounty hunters. Got no other way to make a living. I want to see Will's dead. We're heading north, Ben. 
But the bounty hunters, they know what they're doing. I've seen them in action. They're following us. Couple of horses. How? Moving fast. Oh, I wish I could do that. I don't hear nothing. But he specializes in it. Gotta be an Indian to know those things. Yeah. I bet it's a girl. It is, it's a girl with a second horse. Okay, you stopped me when you did. I might have killed her. Oh, I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Howdy. What the hell? Howdy. Is there something wrong? Nope. <laughs> I ain't that old after all. Oh, God. <laughs> I wanted you to have Granny, not the young girl. Yuck. Come and chair Trade liquor and gun. Trade women too. Oh. How many of them? Maybe nine horses and a couple of carts. <sighs> so there are quite a lot of people then. Yeah, lots of people there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, bleh. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, that's who that was. Oh, <sighs> I remember you. Bang, right through the back of the head. Oh, you. we were alone. Why the hell are you kicking her? I don't want to see this. Quickly, shoot at least one of them. Members are going to want himself a fresh woman. Now, one of you has to take that old woman over there. Oh, for God's sake. She might be worth maybe one donkey. <sighs> sick, sick man. That old lady's worth a lot. The wisdom that she'll have in her head. I'm telling you. Did he not mean to do that? I thought he was trying to... <laughs> I was trying to create a diversion. <laughs> was that a mistake? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Stop spitting on the dog. After. Oh. oh, look at the cows. <gasps> Beautiful. I was coming to breakfast. I'm always interested to see what he does next. Oh, speak. Just get off the horse. Mark, you see oh, damn it. I thought when he shot it that the flag was going to come out and spear him and it would go right through him. That would have been epic. It's just a one man army. <laughs> He did that. The girl! Give her the nod, like, I appreciate you. She's went from worst day ever to best day ever. Comanches, they're not gonna like us killing these friends of theirs. Oh, really? You see them? What? Clouds. Clouds are like dreams floating across the sky blue mind. What? Honey, I never thought of them that way. No, I me mean neither. He's from Missouri, where they're all known to be killers. Would you rather be riding with Comanchero's granny? Yeah, stop, stop your moaning. You could be dead right now. Well, yeah. What have you got? Whiskey. <laughs> whiskey, he says. No whiskey? Milk? How about something else? Like what? You can get those gents whatever they're drinking. You too, ma'am. <laughs> That's so funny. About a long time since we had anything to drink around here. Why? First the silver run out of the Santa Rio, then the whiskey, then the beer run out. Well, what do you have to drink then? It's good to see a high roller wander through. Oh, that's fine. There was a pot. I would have just been like, get out. 
You don't spill my floor. You clean that up. Some fellas just don't like to be called high rollers. He's coming back. Oh, look. <laughs> Woohoo! You have endured hardship of the worst sort on the way out here. They're watching. What do you have? I'm looking for Josie Wales. That'd be me. <gasps> Diane ain't much of a living boy. You can just ride on. Have you not seen what he can do? Good boy. He's not gonna ride on though. He'll go get his partner. I had to come back. I know. Are you gonna try now or? <laughs> Any more of them, you think? I think that's all there is. They have horses pecking uh, antelope. They're keeping an eye on you. You stay with the car. Oh, he's going over. Oh. Oh. I thought he was going to get socked to them. He is pushed further across the plain. General Sherman has come with more promise. But ten bears will move no more. Ten bears. That's a cool name. Maybe he has the strength of ten bears. Or the grumpiness. <laughs> Maybe he's just a really grumpy old man. Mr. Wales, did you come all this way to gawk? You don't work, you don't eat. Or Nobody tells him what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. He knew not to mess with her. <laughs> she would have told him to get out. Grandma says it's our home. It is all of ours. Aww. Oh, I'll be dropping back from time to time. Probably just to hold up. Why don't you stay with us? He has things to do. They won't miss you. Maybe they'll forget you. Yeah. They'll never forget Josie Wales. Ah! Yeah, he's never really grieved for his wife and child, has he? Why she just run away? <laughs> it's playing hard to get. She's too young for you. If she's running away like that, she's too mature. By and by, <laughs> <we will meet. laughs> oh wow. Ten bears. You got Travis and Chad. He'd be riding it here in the morning. In the morning? How do you know in the morning? <gasps> Is that ten bears? Things look bad. It looks like you're not gonna make it. And you gotta get mean. I mean plum mad dog mean. Oh, I can do that. Because if you lose your head and you give up, then you neither live nor win. That's just the way it is. You need to turn crazy. How many is there? He's going down into the valley to kill ten bears. How's he going to do that and come back here? He's not he's not coming back. He won't come back. But he's taught you well. You know what to do. Josie! Josie, I love you. Come back. <laughs> it didn't even turn around. <laughs> it's like I don't care what you've got to say. Let me be a hero. Um, was that their heads or is their body still attached? Yeah, they're still alive. I thought I wasn't sure if it was their heads with no body or have they been doing things to their heads then? It's not a laughing matter. That they're probably almost dead. They're like dehydrated and their heads are in the sun the whole time. I am ten bears. I'm Josie Wales. He's very brave. Butcher some of our cattle and jerk beef for the journey. That's my word of life. These things you say we will have, we already have. That's true. Well, he won't, he, not if he kills you. And I'm saying that men can live together without butchering one another. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is good that warriors such as we meet in the struggle of life or death. It shall be life. So you're good, yeah? Because I was kind of hoping for that. What about the two men with the heads hanging out? Because, oh God, why always why? Someone please tell me why it's always that part of the hand. Do it on your ass where it's flabby. 
Put your butts together. Public care. Look at this. Oh, you do get your men back. See that now? It's a good negotiator. Who's going to mess it up? This is not the end. <gasps> Ooh, he's showing her some kind of affection. I did not think he would do that. I made this chain for you. I braided it from my hand. Oh, God. <laughs> That's real nice. Is it? it is. It's a watch chain. Which hair? Because <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure there's plenty. You do have a watch, don't you? <laughs> well, I've been meaning to get one, yeah. Oh, he hasn't got a watch. Imagine she was like, I made it from my hair. And he was like, oh, yeah, I love the hair on your head. It's just like it was my pubic hair. <laughs> Bang. It's going too well. Someone's away to get shot. <laughs> Someone's watching you. You mean get them horses out of sight. If Josie Wells comes back here, we'll buy him a drink. He's not coming back. He's happy where he is. You're up kind of early, aren't you? She's leaving. Get something especially nice for Laura Lee to wear when I come back in spring, following spring. Why are you leaving? Sometimes trouble just follows a man. Hell no, and I've been here way too long, is it? He needs to make sure that the trouble's gone before he comes back. I get it. You go deal with that trouble. Josie Will! Oh, well, you didn't have to go far for the trouble. It's a lot of effort for one man when he's not even doing anything. He's just protecting himself. You're all alone now, Wales. Nah, he's not. Not quite alone. <laughs> He's got a whole army behind him. Someone shot him. Woo! Jesus. Good job, boys. Come on, keep going. There's like two left. There you go. How's nobody managing to get him while he's on the ground? You get, go get that scene to. We don't need you dying in this movie. Wow. Check you out. She's like, nobody's coming after my man. If you just leave it, he'll bleed out. <laughs> Why are you teasing him? <laughs> Was that him that gave you that scar? Right through his chest. He's just kebabbed you. Lovely. My name's Fletcher. Fletch. Fletcher. Fletcher. Right, Mr. Fletcher. That's Fletcher. His name was uh, Josie Wales. Yeah, that's it. Josie Wales. Fletcher knows. <sighs> What are you going to do? I think he's still alive. Alive? Uh, <laughs> no, sir. He knew it was fine. I think I'll try to tell him the war is over. <gasps> what do you say, Mr. Wilson? I reckon so. God, I'm going to cry. Why am I so emotional? <laughs> What's going on? I guess we all died a little in that damn war. Go get your wound burned. Wow. Right, just don't die by the time you get there, please. Make sure you get there. Yay! I can't believe I thought Josie was going to be a girl.
<laughs> you can't blame me. I'm going to give it best movie ever. I think any movie that's got Clint Eastwood has to have best movie ever because it's Clint. And even so, he kept spitting on that bloody dog, <laughs> which was very annoying, actually. He likes to spit. I don't mind spitting <laughs> when it's called for. <laughs> but there's just no need to be spitting on dogs and floors and stuff. Especially, it's chewing tobacco, is it? And that's what he's spitting out. It's like black and it's t like tar and it's minging. Ah, uh, I think I missed watching a Clint Eastwood movie because we haven't seen one in a while. And it was really nice to see his face again. And you can fairly tell that there was that um, 10 years or so difference because he is looking older. The movie started really, really sad. And I was very confused as to why the little boy was called Josie when I was so sure that Josie Wales was going to be a girl. I wasn't disappointed though, because um, some you guys know, I don't often like a, a female, <laughs> the lead female character. <laughs> Not often. Um, I thought it was going to be like a true grit type where yeah that that didn't happen but it's fine it's fine i was not disappointed i very much enjoyed it it was very very nice i loved the music i loved the this the scenery it was very appealing and i loved the story i just loved it all i loved i loved the characters i loved the humor isn't it amazing when the western has the humor it's just it's best best thing ever best thing I should just take it in turns and watch a Clint Eastwood and then a John Wayne and then one that is like somebody that I don't know or someone that I need to know because there's obviously a hell of a lot more people than just John Wayne and Clint Eastwood <laughs> that I'm obviously obsessed with. And then we had Liberty Balance that had James Stewart and Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin. Marvin Lee. Lee Marvin. It has to be. Is it Lee Marvin? I have to check that before I embarrass myself. It's Lee Marvin. And how awesome was he in The Dirty Dozen? And yeah, just, just, I'm loving all, all the Western characters. Them all. Right, you can probably hear my stomach growling, so I need to go and have some food because I am starving. I didn't actually realise, I thought this movie was like a short one, but I think it was about two hours, so I, it's food time. And I could have watched it longer as well. I could have kept it going for like a whole other hour and then I'd have been like, why am I so hungry? Oh yeah, that's why, because it's a three hour old movie. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe, comment, post notification, check out Patreon, do all that stuff to make the channel go and I love you forever. And um, was there anything? Did I write down anything actually? No, I didn't. I must have followed it pretty well, <laughs> but there was, there always is. There's always going to be in every single movie where I am going to get confused at some point. And then here's me like, oh yeah, I know a thing or two about the Civil War. And then the first thing that they mention is the red legs. And I'm like, what the hell's red leg? <laughs> <laughs> never mind i'm getting there right that's it that's it from me for today thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye Mwah.